Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Welcome to Linux Quest. Thanks so much for watching. I had a request from a Linux Quest viewer to uh, do a video on how to uninstall uh, software from Ubuntu Mate. Now I'm actually uh, spending time here setting up um, elementary OS on our family PC and hopefully you saw that video earlier where my son actually did the install. Um, and so I do not have Ubuntu Mate currently installed on any of my test systems. So I thought maybe we would step through uh, the process. I installed the software boutique and um, I'll have to no, I'll work on it because the software is actually not showing up in here. Uh, but I had another idea that may work. Now before I get into this, I uh, can't believe it, but we, we are approaching a thousand uh, subscribers. And so, you know, I've got some ideas because, I, first of all, I'm blown away that we're close to a thousand subscribers. Um, you know, started this over a little over a month ago and um, thought, hey, this will be kind of a fun hobby. And it's just, it's really just blown me away. And so I want to say, first of all, thank you to all of the viewers and everyone who has subscribed. Um, the community that has kind of developed really has just been, it's been wonderful. Um, for someone who enjoys discussing the technology behind Linux and just technology in general, but primarily Linux, of course, um, it, it's been great to see. I mean, everyone's been respectful to one another. Everyone's been very helpful. We've got folks in there, uh, not to name names, but uh, we've got folks in there that have really gone out of their way to help other people, uh, to, to provide feedback on many different levels, and it, it, it's awesome. So, um, you know, we've had few people who try to come in and and, uh, you know, flame the channel with, you know, Linux sucks or stuff like that, you know, so very little of that actually. And so it's been great. And so thank you all. I just, I can't thank you enough. All the likes and all the feedback and all the help and it's wonderful. So I've got some ideas for uh, one particular video that might be kind of special to celebrate uh, reaching a thousand subscribers. It may take a week or so before I can get that put together, but I, I do want to do something that um, that's a little different, and a little special, and maybe, you know, will help celebrate it. But, uh, all right, so let's jump into this. So, <clears throat> for uh, the viewer who asked about removing software from Ubuntu Mate, um, you will go into Software Boutique. You'll launch your Software Boutique. And you could simply do a search for the software that you want to uninstall. In this case, we're going to say Chrome. And uh, here it says two applications found. I just don't have this set up the proper way to, um, to actually pull, pull it in. Let's try it again. But I've got another idea, like I said here. So it's, it's not going to open it for me. However... Uh, it will open it for you, and uh, you'll be able to go in to whatever that uh, piece of software is. And when you do, you'll see a menu, a window with a menu, and it'll look similar to this, except you'll have one other icon, uh, and I believe it will be red in color, and it will say remove or uninstall. And you'll simply click that uh, third icon, which I do believe will be red, uh, going from memory here, and it will remove that piece of software, and then uh, you will see that gone from your application menu list. Now, yours is going to look different than you see here on Elementary OS, uh, depending on how you have yours set up, uh, but you should see that removed. Now, if you are in a I installed a couple of other things here just figured while I was doing this let's say you're in uh, running the GNOME desktop or GNOME desktop it would be a similar process and so here we'll go with Chromium and here you would see remove it, it knows it's installed and so my only option there is remove and then for those of you running Synaptic uh, or Ubuntu Software Center, you would go through a similar process. You would go in, you would do a search uh, for that program, and you would have an option to remove that. Now with Synaptic, it's going to be a little different. 
And I realize many of you out there are saying, really, Rob, you're, <laughs> you're going through the process of uninstalling software? And for most people who use Linux and, and found their way around and, and um, have been using Linux for a long time, um, great, you know how to do all of this. But there are people out there who they have managed to install software or maybe the default software is fine with them, but there are things they want to remove and they simply have never done it before. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's one of the reasons for this channel. So if you are... If, if you have a distro with Synaptic installed and that's what you're using to, uh, or that's your only option, or you see it and you want to use Synaptic to uninstall software, you'll go in and it's a similar process. You'll click search. And so and it'll do its search. And you'll probably see, I should have actually, let me, let me do that again. We'll narrow down the uh, search here. You're going to see a long list like you see here. Now, if I had typed that all the way out, it would zero in on just that. I was just trying to be quick with it. So here what you would do is you would simply uncheck where it's green here, and then you would go up and click Apply, and then it would uninstall. So, um, and there's probably viewers watching this who have much quicker ways you could do, you could do that through uh, the terminal with uh, terminal command, that kind of thing. But I want to keep it as simple as possible. Again, thank you all very much. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, just blown away by all the participation, um, you know, all the viewers, all the help, uh, everything. You, you're all it's just great. It's It's been great and I appreciate everything and look forward to uh, sharing more videos and, and making new friends. All right, thanks a lot and we will check you later.